Hi, I'm Beth, and this May is unlike a May that we've ever had. We are all getting used to what might be our new normal, this change that's happened as a result of COVID-19. In the midst of all the change and the things that are new, we have parts of this season that we're, we're counting on, things like graduations, right? Things like the start of our summer. I have two college graduates, and I can't believe how fast four years have gone by. I remember when we dropped off Emma and Evan at Taylor University four years ago. Evan went first because he was uh, playing football. And I remember what happened was we, were, we like spent the whole day with the whole football team. And then it was time that coach suddenly said, I felt like without any warning, okay, freshman parents, say goodbye to your freshman sons. Sons report to the locker room in 10 minutes. And I was like, what? But even though we've been talking about all summer, I was not ready to say goodbye to him. And as we were standing out by the car and I was having all these great big feelings, I just pounded him on the chest. And I said something that I don't think he's ever heard me say before. I said a word I shouldn't have. And then I said, I'm not ready for you to go yet. And he looks over at his dad, like, what are you going to do about the fact mom just said that? And his dad was crying. And I know now he, he as we pulled away, he called his sister and said, college is going to be a lot harder than we thought it was going to be because mom is cussing and dad is crying. And here we are four years later and God walked with us inside of that season every single day. And I, I, I reminded, there's this Hebrew word I love. I use it all the time in English, actually. The word is geshem. It literally means rain. And uh, so like whenever it's raining, I'm always like, look at all the geshem. Like I say that in my household. Geshem, think about the story of Moses and Pharaoh and let my people go, right? That story that we find in the book of Exodus. And God is telling his people, I'm going to take you out of Egypt and I'm going to lead you into a promised land. And Egypt um, had something in it called the Nile. And in those days, whoever had access to water had access to power. Maybe in the same way today we might think about fuel or about oil. In those days, it was water. So the Nile literally had 30,000 times the access to water than what they would find in the promised land. As, the, as God's people were being led away from that power and into what was totally unknown for them, God would later say to them, you know, you know, like what happens in, over there in the Nile, in order to irrigate your crops, you had to hand irrigate them. That was like that back-breaking work of taking care of yourself. Over here in the promised land, I'm literally going to make the rain fall from the skies. Whenever it is that you need it, I'll provide it for you. You're going to have to be dependent on me. You're going to have to trust me. And I always tell the Lord in moments when I feel like, oh, it feels easier to try to take care of myself. I, I remind myself, I want to be in a place where I'm expectant for God's Geshem, where I'm expectant for him to show up in all the ways I need him in the moments I most need him. In this spring season, going into our summer season, where we have expectations and needs and wants and curiosities and griefs about the things that we're losing and, and hope for the things that are coming. When we have all those big feelings. We can trust that God will be with us in every, every step of this journey. We can trust that when we need the Geshem, when we need what it is that he has, he'll, he'll, he'll provide it for us. And sometimes I need things like hope. And sometimes I need joy and patience, wisdom, discernment, mercy, self-control. On any given day, I need provision, protection, we can ask him as his kids for what it is that we need and God will bring it to us because he loves us and delights in our prayers.